Are kids' noise-canceling headphones really safe? Today, we'll break down six must-know factors every parent should consider before buying headphones for their kids. And we'll compare the JBL Junior 470NC and the iClever BTH20 while we're at it. Namaste, we're DHRME. Do husbands really make effort? As parents or caretakers, we always worry about stuff related to our kids, and that's no different with kids' headphones. Some fears are justified and some border on conspiracy theories. So let's start with the one that is proven to affect your kid's hearing and also yours, high volume. The one real risk of any audio product, earbuds, headphones, or even speakers for that matter, is the exposure to loud volumes for long periods of time. It's scientifically proven and a common fact that loud sounds over time equals hearing damage. So anything you can do to reduce that is a win. And both these headphones, the JBL Junior 470NC and the iClever BTH20 have a volume limit. We're just gonna call them JBL and iClever for now. They both cap the volume to 85 decibels on paper. JBL also goes a step further by allowing you to turn that maximum limit down. So you can set a maximum volume limit of low, mid, high, and max in the app. That corresponds to 75, 78, 83, and 85 dB according to JBL's own app. But that's not what our results showed. There's also an automatic mode that adjusts the volume level when reaching the hearing fatigue limit. All right, you know us, right? We have to test manufacturer's claims. So this is what we found. On the JBL, the maximum volume was actually below the 85 dB limit. And these are the numbers for different values which is kind of interesting. The automatic mode just defaults to the maximum volume level to begin with, and I suppose over time it would ensure that the cumulative volume is managed. This particular feature was hard to test. The iClever actually gets very close to that 85 decibel number while staying just under. And there was some variance with ANC turned on or off. Now, unless you're convinced that your kids are turning up the volume way too high, either of these headphones will do. Just remember that the JBL actually gives you lower volume. In addition, iClever claims that they de-emphasize frequencies that lead to higher hearing loss in addition to their hard limit of 85 decibels of maximum volume. But we'll come to that a bit later. The JBL's app also has a daily time limit you can set for your kid. And the fun part? You can have a custom voice reminder telling your kid it's time to stop. Fun. Your voice can be the bearer of bad news. There's also an activity report you can check and you can also set a custom pin code so that your kid doesn't change the settings. Although I have bad news for you. Your kid is smarter than you and we'll figure this stuff out. Anyway, it's not just volume limiting that makes these two headphones special. Both these headphones come with active noise cancelling or ANC for short. ANC helps block out background noise by generating opposing sound waves. This means that your kids can listen at lower volumes, protecting their hearing over time. But there are some downsides we need to address, like pressure on the ears and a reduced awareness of surroundings. Also. ANC offers substantial benefits for hearing health and focus, and this is backed by some studies. To begin with, ANC allows your kids to listen to audio at lower volumes. This helps prevent hearing damage in the long term. Since without ANC, one may end up raising volume levels beyond the noise. ANC is particularly useful in consistently noisy environments like airplanes or busy offices where ANC technology blocks out low frequency sounds effectively. And if you have a child who gets overstimulated by background noise, ANC might help. Although you don't need to buy expensive ANC headphones for that. Simple, dumb hearing protection earmuffs or ear defenders are probably a better option. Of course, in that case, you don't get music, just a shutting out of the world in general. So which of these headphones do a better job in drowning out the sound? Well, here's a test. Use headphones to get the best experience. It was a surprise to us. The iClever is much better at active noise cancelling, especially in the lower registers, making them a better choice to take on a plane or in any kind of transport with low end engine sounds. Not only that, the headphones also give you the choice to switch the ANC mode to low or high using this big old button in the middle of the right ear cup. We thought even the low ANC setting on the iClever was a bit better than JBL's ANC. 
Now the JBL's button and app can only toggle between ANC on or off. There is no transparency mode on either of these, which I think is good for kids' headphones. Learning to interact with others without headphones on is a valuable life skill. Speaking of which... Life skills wise, sound and awareness of it plays a big role in picking up social cues and interacting with the people around us. Prolonged use of headphones in social settings can lead to feelings of isolation and reduce social engagement. You're less likely to interact with someone who has headphones on. Conversely, if you have headphones on, you're less likely to hear your environment. This creates a negative feedback loop. Also, noise cancelling headphones have some potential downsides, primarily due to their effects on physical comfort and environmental awareness. Some users experience a feeling of pressure or mild headaches, as ANC often targets low frequency sounds, which can create an effect similar to altitude changes. Also, ANC limits the user's awareness of their surroundings, which can be especially risky in public places with traffic or other potential hazards. Now, nature doesn't want us to always keep our ears covered and prolonged use of headphones can trap heat and moisture, creating an environment that encourages bacterial growth and may lead to ear infections. And in the case of in-ear products, an additional risk is that by pushing ear wax deeper into the canal, you can potentially cause blockages. Either way, taking listening breaks and regularly cleaning the devices can help reduce these risks and maintain better ear hygiene. The JBL has a leg up over the iClever here by letting you set a limit in the app in 30 minute increments like we said before. Once that limit is up, it just refuses to play any audio except the notification that your time is up. Even restarting the headphones or pairing them to another device doesn't help. Nicely implemented JBL. Most companies now make very safe wireless products these days, so to me, this risk isn't big. But as a parent, you always wanna consider all the risks. Wireless headphones have batteries and they need to be charged. And not all kids and adults are good at charging their headphones. So it's good that the batteries on these headphones do well and charge with the common USB-C cable. iClever offers 35 hours of battery life with ANC on and JBL 34. And both these can also be used wired and come with headphone cables in the box. Handy if they run out of charge. Both these headphones, however, do not have noise cancelling when used wired. We also found that the buttons for volume control or playback don't work when wired, which is a bit disappointing. Other than that though, the batteries for these products are located on the ear cups, just on the ears. I don't know the last time I heard of Bluetooth headphones catching fire, and if you buy from reputable brands, I'd say that risk is at a minimum. Batteries also tend to degrade over time based on use, making these products have a limited lifespan. On the other hand, if you buy wired headphones, they do have the hassle of wires getting entangled, and newer phones and tablets have no headphone jack, which means you will have to get a dongle. Also, you won't get any smarts. On the bright side, they'll always work. There's no charging required and they usually sound better too. So now that you know some of the benefits and advantages of noise cancelling headphones, which one of these should you get for a kid? To start off with, the iClever BTH20 costs $46 and the JBL Junior 470NC 80 euros. Well, we've already talked about the volume limiting ANC and battery lives on both these headphones, but why get kids headphones in the first place? Well, first, Adult headphones are often too big and too plain for kids. Secondly, kids' headphones are designed to handle rough use because let's face it, kids can be rough on gadgets. Both come in big bold colors with big bold buttons to control the headphones, which is nice. They also are both made of plastic and the iClever seems to have more heft, but it's a bit more creaky. Again, none of these seem to be built premium and that's actually a point in favor of the iClever considering how much cheaper it is. Both are foldable and the JBL's cardboard inner packaging can be a craft project that can become a headphone stand. And both of these come with a flimsy soft pouch to transport your headphones. JBL also gives you more customization options for sound with EQ presets and a 10 band custom EQ, you know, if you're raising a potential audiophile. Speaking of which, the sound on the iClever is more balanced if you don't plan to do any tweaking, but that reduction in particular frequencies, it wasn't very noticeable to us. On the JBL, you can also see the current volume live in the app, which is a tiny but useful detail to consider. The iClever may not have the app and smarts of the JBL, but you can actually adjust the ANC of the iClever using a big fat button on the right ear cup between ANC high, low, and even turn it off. Helpful if high ANC creates an uncomfortable pressure for kids. The JBL can only switch ANC on and off. There is no level adjustment. In addition, both of these also have microphones, 
have a listen hi this is how my voice would sound if i use the jbo junior 470nc and this is me talking like a kid all right this is how my voice would sound using the iclever bth20 hello i'm a kid i'm talking like a kid they seem fine for calls. The clamping force on the JBL also seems to be lower than the iClever, but the cushions are more plush on the iClever, whereas JBL's ear pads seem to have a hard surface on the inside. And that ANC button just seems more fun on the iClever. And unless your kid has a phone, I think kids might enjoy the iClever a bit more, despite not getting to make a cardboard stand for it. But what might be the clincher to many of you might be the brand recognition and support network of JBL. On the other hand, you are paying quite a premium for headphones that can be broken or lost quite easily. iClever does a lot of things well and are specialized in kids' headphones with a number of other products as well. Hope that helped you guys to look at the benefits and risks of kids' headphones. This is the first time we've reviewed kids' products on this channel. Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. And we're able to do all of this thanks to our YouTube members and patrons. So thanks a bunch to our Popsicle tier, Icicle tier, and these beautiful tested tier members. And a special shout out to our two highest tier Fuckmon members, which are Paula and Gamma Panda. Thank you very much. You've been dealing with Clever Juniors and we've been DHRME. Do we?